There was a time when the energy that powers our world was viewed as a miracle. Then there were the decades when we thought of it as endless and abundant. Now we call it a resource, something of value to be used wisely and well. We have to be smart about how we use every resource uh, that's available to us today. That's the idea, you know, and the thing is is that it's cool to do this now. We live in a very exciting time <laughs> for energy. It's uh, very similar to what we just saw happen with the internet. Energy efficiency now has shown that it can save customers money and it can save their utility money and basically it can help with uh, the climate change issue. Renewable sources of power like wind and solar are essential to a healthy energy future. But energy efficiency is just as important. Energy really is the driver for our economy. It really is the engine. Utilities like Pitch Sound Energy are finding creative ways to help customers, large and small, use power more effectively. When you can save on the existing supply that you have by being more efficient, Analysis are showing us today that you can save 10%. So that's almost like coming up with a new source. 10% more energy by just using what you have now more efficiently. And homeowners and businesses are already making critical contributions. And we're finding a lot of people wanting to use uh, online services to determine how they can uh, monitor their energy use, how they can tweak their energy use to reduce it. At Eddie Line Kayaks, owner Tom Derrer made two simple changes, a programmable thermostat and fluorescent lighting. One of the things we noticed, in fact, when we put these lights in was everybody started to see little defects that they hadn't been able to see before. So the lighting is immensely superior. And it's saving us um, oh, 25 to 30 percent on our energy cost. Why wouldn't you want to do this? You know, it's a no-brainer. J.C. Penney has been nationally recognized for finding ways to save energy at four Washington stores and at its regional distribution center. It's the lighting. When we took over the building in 2004, we had uh, sodium vapor lights. Uh, they used uh, a lot more energy, and they didn't put out nearly the same light. We got better lighting, we got more economical lighting, and we got more functional lighting. At Penny's Bellingham store, manager Anne-Marie Vinson keeps track of heating, air conditioning, and lighting use online. This is where we can see daily, um, weekly, and monthly how we are doing. For us, the beginning was um, looking at what was going on during the night or during the morning hours before the store opened. Like having these spotlights, they're all turned off. And only utilizing during store open hours, we've saved 5%. Single mom, three kids, you know the economy is in the dump right now. This is not something that's at the top of my priority list. Priority Homeowner Marianne Reagan found out all about energy efficiency after her furnace went out. Just alone from having the furnace and getting the first bill in, I know it's gone down probably about 40% just because the furnace is more efficient. But really, you can do minimal things and save a lot of money. And I'm just shocked at the difference in my bill already. I really am. There's something that everybody can do. That's the exciting thing. And the thing is, when you put it all together, it makes a big difference. We closed the dampers on... Kurt and Tammy Lamp made several small, easy changes and saw a very big difference in their bills. And then basically you push the lever and it's... We are shutting our lights off more when we leave rooms. So we are shutting appliances off. We also have uh, gone, you know, through the house systematically and replaced the old light bulbs with, uh, with new light bulbs. You know, just the combination of those three things probably have caused our... Uh, our electrical usage to go down on a daily basis by maybe 35 or 40 percent. The other big thing is when we're not in the house, we don't even notice if it's cold or hot. So the programmable thermostat was a big win for us. It doesn't really matter where you're starting. If everyone lowered their consumption by 35 percent, that would have a meaningful impact. It would move the dial. And, you know, we've done that effortlessly. <laughs> The Northwest's own McKinstry Company is known nationally as a leading innovator in energy efficient engineering and retrofitting. Efficiency is really about getting the same job done with less utility consumption. 
So where we put most of our energy at McKinstry, yeah, excuse the pun, is, is really trying to find places where our customers can get exactly the same output, but just use less energy. At architecture firms like Seattle's Methune, energy efficiency is now part of every new building's design. Energy efficiency is uh, really absolutely job number one. If we orient the building properly, if we're able to uh, define the envelope properly, uh, if we're able to engineer natural cooling into the project, uh, we can eliminate a lot of stuff that costs a lot of money. Uh, as an example, our space here, uh, this is a uh, computer modeled, uh, naturally cooled structure. So we don't have air conditioning here. So we, re we eliminate the capital cost of the air conditioning equipment, uh, put that into more windows, which is nice, and they open. Whether we like it or not, our region is growing, and it's going to take additional resources to provide the power, to provide the natural gas that's necessary for our customers. The good news is that Puget Sound Energy predicts its residential and business customers will save enough energy over the next 20 years to keep two mid-sized power plants from being built. So bottom line, save so that we don't have to buy or build. That makes energy efficiency an impact player in a way that it's never been before. I believe energy efficiency uh, and green buildings will be a key aspect of how we lift our economy forward. We see that the opportunity for there to be millions of those jobs um, that are hard to outsource and that are right here at home and are you know, really a great mix. What we're seeing today is just the beginning, with tomorrow's technologies promising even greater efficiency. Really what we're trying to do, in a nutshell, is to build in sophistication to the electricity grid. This is the vanguard for the next 10 to 15 years, uh, and we're, we're going to be out there trying to help people. This is a, a green region, literally and figuratively. It's just kind of in our DNA.